I'm Tisha Johnson, Senior Design Director for Volvo Cars, and I'm really here to show the V90 Cross Country today. It's got a lot of unique properties to the car. It, specifically, we start really with the chassis. The car is raised, uh, and that's really the result of some good work on chassis development, giving it very unique uh, technology that allows us to really bring the ride height up and get the good clearance under the car that we want. But that also allowed us to get bigger wheels, um, really nice, if you look at this, we have very nice wide tires. Um, they also sit very nicely, this is, has a very wide stance. And some of that has to do with the fact that we have these, this cladding that gives you this brow that comes out so that you've got that width. Along with that, then, that cladding's been treated with really just a super nice finish. And it here you're looking at it with a contrast, but you can have it, of course, in a complementary body color. We, of course, while we're here, you can see that we have this very nice, just a, a plate that um, we have on the front and the back so that you can really just uh, have a little bit more of that ruggedness that you would expect from a cross country. If we go around to the front, on the silhouette you see then this V90 that you're familiar with. And again, if you come over to the front, that skid plate that I was talking about, then we've got that in the front. It's beautifully set up with the front fascia so that you've got that nice scallop grill and then these five metallic studs that I was talking about, just really nice placement against these black gloss veins. And um, the fascia otherwise has the Thor's hammer, which is a setup that we've seen, giving it that nice down the road look. And other than that, we have an interior, which we can if you want to, we can go into. Excuse me. So let's open up the door. This is that really that Scandinavian sanctuary that I was talking about. But now you've got a couple of just differentiators that make it super nice. In particular, if you close that door, you can get a better look. Oh, there's sun coming through. But this is a, a dark black walnut, a very nice structure with a um, just a super good uh, finish to it that isn't glossy, you know. And then Again, so that now runs through the console, but then you also have this beautiful pearl stitching element on the seats. Not sure if you can see that from that side, but um, just super nice detail. We also have on the seat, we've seen this before, but we have the Swedish flag. It's a really an element to remind you that this indeed is a Swedish car, uh, you know, developed from within Sweden. And um, that's really the R in a nutshell.